Hello, young adventurers. Welcome to another exciting Bible story. Today, we're diving into the very beginning, the creation story. Are you ready for a journey through the wonders of God's creation? Let's get started. So today, Judy will help us to learn about the story of creation. In the beginning, there was nothing but darkness and a deep, vast ocean. But then God the Creator spoke, let there be light. And just like that, day and night were born. God saw that the light was good and He separated it from the darkness. This marked the beginning of time itself. On the second day, with the canvas of the universe ready, God continued His creation. He shaped the sky above, the land below, and the seas that would cover the earth. The world was taking shape, and it was breathtaking. God looked at His creation and saw that it was good. On the third day, now God turned His attention to the dry land. He spoke, Let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees bearing fruit after their kind. And instantly, the land was covered in a colorful array of plants, flowers, and trees. God looked at His creation once more and saw that it was good. On the fourth day, now God decided to make the sun to rule the day, the moon to rule the night, and countless stars to light up the sky. Day and night, seasons and years, Everything was perfectly designed. God looked at His creation again and saw that it was good. On the fifth day, next, God filled the seas with fish and the sky with birds of all shapes and sizes. The oceans teemed with life and the skies echoed with the melodies of the winged creatures. God looked at His creation once more and saw that it was good. On the sixth day, on the sixth day, God created animals to roam the land, elephants, lions, giraffes, and so many more. But God had something special in mind. He decided to create humans in His own image. God breathed life into Adam and Eve, the first humans, and placed them in a beautiful garden called Eden. On the seventh day, and on the seventh day, God looked at His magnificent creation and saw that it was very good. He rested, blessing the seventh day and making it holy. And there you have it, young adventurers, the incredible story of the creation of the world, a story of beauty, diversity, and the love of our Creator. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the pages of the Bible. If you enjoyed this adventure, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more amazing stories. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the wonderful tales of faith.